afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first, first of all, uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Myo Dei. I am director of uh, Xiangong City Development Committee. Uh, in this great event or conference, I much uh, very appreciate to presence uh, water uh, management in Yangon. So as you know, the, well, Myanmar is one of the ASEAN country population, uh, 52 million, uh, four main uh, rivers, uh, resource-rich country, especially uh, abandoned water resources. Average annual rainfall is uh, 2,500 millimeter. The country capital is uh, Nebido. Uh, Yangon is the largest and second uh, capital of Myanmar. Yangon is the former capital city of Myanmar. Uh, it has over five billion population. Annual rainfall is uh, 2,700 uh, millimeter. You know, the Shirigong Goda uh, is the one of the famous uh, tourist attraction, uh, religious place of uh, Buddhism in Myanmar and for the world Buddhist. You know, the Kandaji Lake and Enya Lake and Yangon River, uh, Bago River, Lai River, Banlai River, and Bizonong Creek as a main uh, water body in Yangon. So it has an abandoned uh, water resource and surrounded by uh, four rivers. Yangon is surrounded by four rivers. So although the city is quite uh, close to the river water resource, uh, those rivers are uh, tidal rivers. So we cannot rely on uh, the water from the, those rivers. Uh, salinity level is also high and uh, raw water can be relied only on the uh, existing uh, rainwater service reservoir. According to the 2040 uh, population census, so Yangon population is 5.14 uh, uh, million. Since the population rate is uh, higher in influx of people, Yangon population will be 10 million in 2040, uh, according to the, our forecast. So as a consequence, water demand will be more and more higher. After 2030, the future water demand will be a uh, double of the uh, existing amount. 90% of water comes from the four main, uh, main reservoirs at the moment. So we call the Jobu, uh, Puji, Ngmoyet, and Loga. In future, uh, there will be a very limited uh, water resource from uh, those reservoirs because the, uh, there is very limitation of the reservoir construction in a nearby area of jungle. That's why the water, the new water resource for the future uh, can be relied only on the uh, freshwater river uh, surrounding area of jungle. So treatment facility are being uh, extended to cover all of uh, water supplies to be treated water. So at the time being, uh, there are three large-scale uh, water treatment plants in Yangon. So two plants are being uh, operated at the moment. So one plant is in uh, stay and you know the implementation phase. Another, you know, the large-scale treatment plant will be implemented soon. Uh, it was a, a ODA loan a project of a, a JICA. So after that, so we will have a four um, main uh, water treatment plant for the whole jungle. So at the time being, so we have many challenges and uh, issues um, in the water supply system of jungle. Uh, the main problem is a high uh, non revenue water. Uh, non revenue water rate is high because uh, of uh, age uh, facility and ages uh, transmission line and distribution facilities. So, damage uh, uh, water meter and also the sun uh, meter error and spaghetti pipe uh, are also the prime factor for the uh, increasing uh, non revenue water rate. There are also the institutional and financial and management issue like uh, the some uh, necessity of the standard for the 
water supply, and also the entire tariff system also uh, is still improper, and also the uh, tariff rate is also very low, and uh, that is a current challenges for our water supply system of Yango. So, there are many, Although main Yangon area have a proper water supply uh, in hotter season, major challenges occur in the other bank of the Yangon River. Yangon is uh, surrounded by uh, rivers. That's why the ma main Yangon area is uh, uh, okay for the water, current water supply. But the other bank of the Yangon River, so uh, that area is a new development area. So. Uh, that area have uh, major challenges, and due to the climate change and uh, the wet, uh, wet hot weather condition, water scarcity occur in uh, those areas during the dry season. Uh, therefore, boat ships and uh, water boxer truck are used f for the drying and season for the temporary drinking water supply. That's why uh, we made a master plan uh, together with a JICA for, uh, we planned for the, uh, up to the 2040. Uh, firstly, the, we are considering for the 2025 so to make a necessary project. So in 2025, so two large scale projects will be uh, completed. Uh, two uh, water treatment plant and four distribution service reservoirs will be born due to those projects. Before uh, 2040, uh, the system, we have a five large scale water treatment plant uh, and 11 uh, service reservoirs altogether. Uh, we, YCDC emphasize and pay much attention to meet the uh, sustainable de development goals, 6.1. Uh, 2025 and 2040, a plan had been uh, jointly focused uh, formulators together with the JICA for getting the wide range of uh, service coverage. At the time being, uh, two class K projects in which the uh, 100 million gallon body capacity water amount, uh, that amount is half of the existing uh, water supplying capacity will be increased in 2024. The present supply amount is uh, 931 million, uh, 931,000 cubic meter per day. Uh, will be increased up to the 1,386,000 uh, cubic meter per day after uh, those projects. There are two JICA ODA loan. Uh, project at this moment. So phase one project is under construction and cooperating with JICA, another ODA law. The production volume from this water treatment plant will be 180,000 uh, cubic meter per day for zone number one, seven and eight. And also the Tilawa Special Economic Zone. Uh, here I'd like to share uh, one information that uh, Tilwa's special economic zone is uh, uh, one of the government you know, uh, plan projects at the moment for the uh, near the uh, Yangon city. That's why so we need to supply water to uh, that area uh, at the moment. So we make uh, one very big uh, project to supply not only the city area, but also for the that special economic zone. So it is a large scale project. So as per the schedule, so it can be fulfilled the water demand of uh, 2024. That's why after completion of those two projects, uh, we uh, can rely the water up to the 2024. That is a primary uh, plan of uh, Yango. So up to the uh, 2040 uh, master plan, so we have to, we need to, uh, implement uh, more uh, water supply projects. Now we are planning to uh, 
we, we make a broader, uh, we plan a broader stage to implement for the successive years. Current water supply system uh, need to be strengthened and NRV reduction projects are necessary. So before getting uh, water, new water from those two projects, so we need to strengthen uh, our existing water supply system. That is why we make a parallel uh, non revenue water project uh, within the city area. Initially, it was a, a grant project. Uh, that's I'm sure in here is uh, one of the grassroots grant project uh, from the Japanese government. So after grassroots grant projects, uh, we, uh, the Japanese government also assists for the uh, extension for the whole township. So this is uh, the one of the township wife uh, NRU project in Yango. So NRV reduction is one of the main activity in the garden water supply system of Yango. So in cooperation with the international organization and uh, expert groups, uh, several NRV reduction uh, projects are being implemented to reduce the presence NRV rate. So, uh, the present rate uh, almost uh, 50 percent to the 50, 15 percent target. Yeah. Before new water can buy the ODA project, so the distribution system should be so upgraded by such kind of the non revenue water reduction project. And parallelly, so we also uh, need to raise up the capacity of our staff. And also there is a one uh, plan of the JICA to support the technical system project. Um, by introducing the technical assistance project, the program of uh, capacity building and human resource development for our studying engineers uh, are adapted. The local and overseas training program are setting up to raise and uh, improve the technical and management scale for uh, planning, design as a technically and staff tariff collection, and also the customer services and public relation uh, as a financial and social, et cetera. These are some activity of uh, our department, uh, together with the JICA technical assistant team uh, to cooperate with uh, our steps to overall management of uh, three outputs, institutional, uh, management, non-revenue, water management, and water quality management. So at the moment, so YCDC also plan to uh, reorganize the, the existing the, the department, engineering department, water and sanitation, uh, as a, a water work authority, uh, not only the uh, water department, the other department also uh, under the YCDC, uh, I plan to reorganize uh, as a uh, what, uh, authority. Decision making process and streamline process uh, can be shortened and to be improved. Uh, more business opportunity uh, we occur and stakeholder participation can be also broadened. Uh, after reorganization, uh, tangible results and prominent outcome of uh, good governance and urban water supply uh, will be uh, achieved. You know, this is a, a water festival. So you know the, in Myanmar, so water is uh, a prime and a crucial important for Myanmar New Year festival. So our Myanmar New Year festival, we call the water festival and also uh, our Tianjin festival. So Myanmar people use a lot of water in uh, that water festival. The, the festival in the uh, dry season, and that's why uh, we need a lot of water in the dry season. Uh, water culture is one of the, you know, the uh, national symbol of Myanmar. That's why we need to have um, uh, more water 
uh, even in the rainy season and the dry season for the water festival. So Yango is a gateway, as I mentioned before, uh, even uh, Yango is uh, not the capital city of Myanmar, but the commercial capital of Myanmar. So Yango is the gateway to Myanmar and all kind of transportation and business opportunity uh, led Yango to be rapid urbanization and higher water demand for drinking, uh, domestic industrial and commercial purpose. Since the city, city area expansion, uh, for the new town and special economic zone like uh, Tilawa, urgent water supply projects are necessary for increasing water demand. That's why uh, Shango and also the uh, other urban area and other rural area of Myanmar. So we, the government, also like to you know the uh, raise the water supplying capacity, and also Myanmar hosts the third uh, Asia First Wage Water Summit in Yango at uh, December 2017. After the ABWS Summit, so Yango Declaration was uh, issued, and this declaration so five years in advance uh, compares to the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, uh, and also the investment um, size uh, double investment and the regional level in uh, infrastructure and community-based effort to address the water-related disaster and uh, significantly increase the water security. So in declaration, so it was also mentioned that the advanced research and development as well as the education and trainees uh, to generate innovative solution and particularly in water use efficiency and productivity, recycling, risk assessment and reduction, and policy and governance uh, meet growing water demand, reduce uh, disaster damage and improve water sanitation and wastewater management, and establish a sound regulatory mechanism and planning at the local and national level uh, to supply safe and a sustainable drinking water and to extend and improve sanitation and wastewater management services. In conclusion, so I would like to share our so information that the government of the Union of Myanmar kindly supports the sustainable development, uh, improvement of uh, integrated water management in Myanmar, and also the state councillor actively participate in the ABWS summit and assures the, especially the rapid improvement of rural and urban water supply and services like in Yango and other urban and rural area in Myanmar. Finally, I would like to uh, thanks to have a chance in this conference for sharing our information and current development activity of Yango. And let me express my sincere appreciation for excellent support by the Japanese government, or JICA, GINCS, uh, ADB, AFD, World Bank, and other international development agencies and uh, whoever uh, support us. Uh, this is the end of my presentation. Thank you very much.